Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your man Gilligan, and this is the Conversation Club Podcast. Today's episode, we got Temple Mountain. He's a native out of New England, and I'm excited to have him on the pod. And stay tuned for an epic conversation, y'all. Let's go. The guy's got his guitar ready now. If you're not a true musician and you're not passionate, you would not have a guitar ready. So, what's up, man? Welcome to the pod. Oh, how are you doing today yourself? I like your background, by the way. Did you do that uh, yourself? Hey. I know twenty dollars on Amazon. That's <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. that it's pretty dope. I, I I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. It's a good background. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, first off, uh, you want to let the viewers know that I call them my Gilly Squad members. You know, Gilly Strong. Yeah, uh, you want to let them know a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what you do. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself, but. uh yeah, my name's Eric. I go by Temple Mountain. Um, I'm part of the New Hampshire music scene and New England music scene, for that matter. Kind of fresh into it, but I'm slowly finding out more and more that this is a huge scene with a lot of incredible, talented artists. And yeah, I'm just trying to uh, live my life. And, you know, it's just about, you know, I get one life to live and I really want to be able to enjoy music and not care about what other people think, if you will. So uh, there's this real free spirit to sure. it. For sure, yeah. for sure, man. Yeah. For real. So, so when when did this whole music thing happen for you? Uh, when did you start doing music? Mm -hmm. Well, I, my dad got me my first guitar probably around sixth grade or the summer into sixth grade, and I became obsessed with like shred guitar and metal. And okay. metal, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. you don't seem like a metal kind of guy. Yeah, people change, man. People change. But no, you know, then um, when I was around 19, I discovered my mom's like folk music collection from like the 60s and stuff like that. And I got really heavy into that. And then I got heavy into like John Mayer and Ed Sheeran and it just clicked. Oh, like, oh, I was yes, like, oh, I like the idea of like, um, like, it's, like something that you can be at a campfire anywhere in the world and like you can produce it, music. You don't need mm -hmm. anything but your voice and the guitar. And I got really heavy into that like philosophy, if you will. Bro, I I applaud I applaud you for one for picking up the guitar because that is I I think playing the guitar is extremely tough. Like I've tried mm -hmm. over the years. Like I my mom bought me an electric guitar when I was young. Tried playing, you know that didn't have a thing. Guitar Hero came out and. I was a G. Hey, <laughs> I suck at um, guitar. Bro, that, 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 that's awesome that you could play the guitar, especially acoustic. Well, I'm guessing you could play the electric too. I suck at electric. <laughs> I, I overthink it too much. I, I think with acoustic, I have a bit more, as you would call, like tradition into it. Like I've learned a lot more of the history of it. So with electric, I don't. I was learning a lot of Blink One A Two and stuff like that, which is awesome, but. It just never retained, if that makes yeah. sense. Is, is that yeah. is that something that you would love to learn? Like, love to learn to play the electric? Yeah, but you know, definitely. But guitars are getting really expensive, and true, true, true. Yeah, but it's, it does. It's not about the guitar. It's about the fingers that play it. Of course, of course, I one hundred percent agree. It's just like, I uh, yeah, it would be a quite a bit. It's an investment upfront just to like get back into it. And then you right, know, right. I live with my significant other, and I'm sure if I'm playing like really heavy rock, oh, poor thing, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be brutal. But you know, you said something I thought that was really interesting before, and I wanted to add to it. Where you're saying, yeah, the, I agree, the guitar is really difficult. But I think just in general, any musical inspiration. One of my good friends, he makes a lot of beats, and I can't believe how creative and what they do in order to produce the sounds that they produce. It's it's insane. Unreal. Yeah, it, unreal. Yeah. <laughs> my mind my mind was blown five years ago when i was when i first met someone that does music like seriously did music and like didn't do it as a joke and then i met more and more people i was just like holy shit like i didn't know like the behind the scenes how much hard like oh, yeah. engineering is no joke oh yeah absolutely and then you listen to like 
new metal artists from like the early 2000s and realize like all that saturation distortion was had to be recorded cleanly it's very impressive it is it's a it's a skill that's not not looked at often yeah you know unless you talk to dre right (laughs) all art though all art man like i look at um what some of the digital artists are doing i was in uh, barcelona last year we were at the museum of modern art yeah we were at the Museum of Modern Art and in Barcelona, and they had some digital art, and it was so incredible, so impressive. Like I couldn't believe it. Yeah, the things, the things that 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 they, that they can do, and I'm just, I don't, even, I, don't I can't even expect, I don't even want to know what the future is going to hold because right, it's, it's already, it's already <laughs> freaking crazy. And so, I know. But I'm excited. I'm excited for it, you know. But. Mm-hmm. You got to really have patience to learn how to do shit like that. It takes a lot of hours. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, if you have the passion, you know, it's possible, you know? Yeah. You know? It's, it, and also, and I think really anyone can do it. And that's important to recognize too. Like, it's not about being a right brain thinker or a left brain thinker. If you want it, you got it. Manifest your reality. I like that. I like yeah. that. <laughs> I like that. So. So, with this Temple Temple Mountain, I thought originally I thought that was a band. I thought you were a band because it yeah. sounds like a band name, but it's, it's just solo you. Yeah, I don't like my last name really. Um, I'm actually gonna be Where'd taking. Where did you come up with it? Where, where did Temple Mountain come from? Uh, right outside, like uh, <laughs> I technically live on Temple Mountain, so it's oh. a mountain in New Hampshire. Um, and I don't know. I remember I've always thought about it because. Uh, when I, I used to be in New York City, and in New York City, I went by Eric Phillip instead of my last name. Like, I've always wanted to just have Eric a different Phillip. name. Yeah. Dude, that sounds like a goddamn, like, no no lie. Like, yeah, good. when I was listening to shit, James Blunt. No, um, yeah, oh, James Blunt. Fucking, James Blunt. Um, <laughs> oh, what was the other? Plain White Tees. It's just like, yo, you had that vibe. And I'm just like, and then when you said Eric Phillips, I'm like, dude, that's a, that's a, that's a famous name. <laughs> That's kind. Uh, I didn't. I didn't treat. My, I didn't act very famously in New York. I'll tell you that much. But I don't know. It's Temple not, Mountain. You I just. You don't. Act, you don't need to act famous. Just pretty much. You. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to really explain it, but. No, no, no. I, 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 don't I feel it. <laughs> yeah, but I just. Nah, I nah, like I, the I, idea I, of. Se- oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, you're uh, good. You're good. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I grew up with Hannah Montana, so I really enjoyed yeah. the idea of home of a both worlds. Yeah. But yo, Having kudos, those two to her, sides. kudos to her for winning her Grammy, yo. She's she's incredible. She's hand down. She's gonna go down as you know. Yeah, I think I mean if we're going there, I will say in my personal opinion, I think most of the most interesting music that's happening in pop is by far done by like female artists at the moment and they need to get more recognition. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't That's, I, I don't, I, I hate new day music. I hate it. It's, it, huh. it's what type of music do you like? Insane. What happened? What type of music do you like? What kind of music do I like? I loved like the 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, yeah, I love like that old shit. Like I love Van Morrison. I love oh, that's dope. I love old classic, the Supremes, Mamas and Papas. Like uh, I love all I I that's that's what I listen to. I love that shit. I don't listen to anything like probably above like ninety nine. That makes me so happy to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking love the Beatles were my shit. I love the Beatles, yeah. yeah. Beatles were my shit. Um but yeah, that I my I my dad li- listened to that growing up, and mm-hmm. yeah, I, you can't go wrong with the oldies, man. That's when music was real. Oh, it was just something different. <laughs> yeah, it was less saturated. It's not that music's not. I think music's still real, but it's more of that. There's just so much of it now. Like anyone, yeah. you couldn't not Spotify didn't exist. You couldn't just upload whatever. Anyone yeah. could upload music, like. You know, it's so funny, and uh, it's it's gonna be so weird to say, but like if you go on Spotify and you type the word "poop," you're gonna get like a thousand songs about that <laughs> specifically. Like th- that wasn't the case yeah. in the seventies. It's in, dude, it's insane. It it yeah. it's insane. It, uh, 
But I mean, <laughs> I guess that's what you can expect in like now this yeah. new age, in this generation with the social media coming. This like right. the social media coming, the, the, that shit is gonna that shit just ruined this generation. <laughs> huh. It's heavy. Like it, it's it's so very unfortunate. Heavy. Yo. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, social media is dope. I love it. But th- like you said, it's so saturated. Like, yeah. That's why well, I was like, I, it's like I try, but I don't try. I, I feel you. I also think, though, you know, you and I were in our 30s. And I think the younger generation might disagree with this. You know, they might, they, they get it. And yeah, I don't know. I, it makes me think about when my grandpa had the computer and like, I had to explain to him how to use the internet. Like, it's like, we're getting to that point where there's going to be things that we just refuse to compromise with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Fucking damn. But, uh, shit. So you got your guitar. Yeah. How about for the first time on this pod, I'm going to call my guest out and I would I would love for you to perform something for me. Sure. Or perform something for the for the viewers. And if you guys sorry I should have mentioned this earlier guys, but you guys can go check him out on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Temple Mountain. Go check him out. I'll leave his links in the the comment section or the description. Either way, go check him out. And he's gonna play a little tune for us on the audio. Yeah, I'm still warming up today, but uh this is a song called no, Interpersonal good, Relationships. Good. Cool. <laughs> You're good. It seems I've only met you. It's falling down like rain. It's all the ways you make me feel and cry. So won't you take my hand and help me understand? As we sit still, the world is passing by. I recognize the mistrust. I experience the pain. I see the way that men can tend to lie. So I work hard each day. And think of how to say, I'm here to love, not here to change my mind. For you know I'm now a soul, focused on the way you're making sound. For you know it's time for you to go, but I'll think about the next time you're around. Cause I made you a promise, a promise I can't break, but I think I found a way to compromise. For history will show the way you help me grow, make a pretty friendship, you and I. For you know an hour or so, focused on the way you're making sound. For you know it's time for you to go, but I'll think about the next time you're around. Cause I made you a promise, a promise I can't break, but I think I found a way to compromise. For history will show the way you helped me grow. Make a pretty friendship, you and I. Make a pretty friendship, you and I. Thank you. Oh man, bro. Yo, I hope that came in fucking crystal clear because you were you were like glitching on my end. But I hope sure. that came in perfect because damn. <laughs> like, like, Thank fuck, you. if I could take my goddamn mic out, if I can drop that shit. That was amazing, bro. That was fucking truly amazing. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. That is I'm that, still getting used to um to receiving such nice feedback, so bro, thank you. That was that was incredible <laughs> dude, cause, dude, I dude, I wish I could do that. Like, <laughs> there's no way in hell but bro. Wow. Yo, everybody. Was that not amazing? Was that not fucking amazing? Like, honestly, thank you so much for doing that. That was a fucking awesome. That was a pleasure to fucking see. I can't believe oh. that happened. That is thank definitely you. getting clipped. Oh, but on uh, you, you seriously have that. that. You have that fucking voice. Like I said, like with James Blunt or, um, no. like, what was it? Plain White Tees. Like, you, yo, that is definitely a song that teenage girls would fucking just. <laughs> Fall and just die for it, bro. Like, yeah. damn. Maybe you, twenty to thirty that, would be um, that'd be nice. <laughs> but yo, is so is that is that out? Is that some is that yeah. a song that someone? So where can we go? Where can they go find that song? Because I'm definitely yeah. gonna go fucking beat that shit. Um, it's called Interpersonal Relationships. It's on uh, Spotify and all platforms. It's under an is album called Schema. Yeah. 
Um, I got I got schema up right now. I was ready to go. So what was it called? Interpersonal relationships. Okay, number three. Bat. Yeah. That album's all based on, I got a bachelor's degree in psychology, and I've realized, as you may know, a bachelor's degree doesn't really mean much nowadays, so I was like, well, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this tuition to use. <laughs> that, no, kudos to you, dude. That, a bachelor's, dude? Yeah. I, I didn't even, my ass didn't even go to college, so good for you. It took me a long time. Yeah. Um, Yo. I'm, I'm just starting grad school now, and it's been a, it's been a very interesting journey. Yeah, so what are you, what are you going to grad school for? Uh, clinical mental health counseling. So basically to be a licensed therapist. Okay. It is, is, so is music something that you, you would, you want to pursue? Like you, you, like you want that to be what you want to do for life? For the rest of your life? Or, or know, is it just like a hobby? It's more than a hobby. It's because I make money doing it. Oh, um, well, there you go. But I, mean, I don't think I would want to be like the status of like, what I think maybe a typical person would say is a musician. I don't want to be Ed Sheeran. I don't want to be Taylor Swift. Yeah. Um, I think I have, uh, I have, I just got engaged. I have a fiance. I would like to have children in my lifetime. I don't think, and I just watched that Glee documentary on discovery go. I don't think that lifestyle, I think I would just result in it would, it wouldn't be good. Damn. Uh, well, I mean, I got this. I respect that. I respect that. I mean, I have, I have nothing but, I mean, you know, there's a hypocrisy in what I say, though, because I'm sure if someone offered me the opportunity for fame tomorrow, it'd be really weird of me to be like, no. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, to me, it seems like a very difficult dream to achieve. So I, I almost purposely avoid it. Man, my man, listen, anything is possible. Of course. And Listen, you got talent, and I'm not. And I'm, I'm just saying, but I, I wouldn't stop. I would. I would. I mean, I would keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. But well, can um, I ask you, what are your goals? Uh, it's like, what, what do you envision in life? What do I envision in life? Well, I mean, that is that. That's a difficult one. Uh, literally for the past six years, I've been doing nothing but grinding, building my yeah. Gilligan mat, and then I was doing YouTube. I was doing I was doing a bunch of shit, like, and I wanted to, I wanted to be a social media star. Like I wanted to make it big on YouTube. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, but then I then I started cleaning up trash in in my town and I started a, like a, I call it a nonprofit. It's not a legit, like I didn't, it's not a legit legal nonprofit. I just call it a nonprofit because I did it for free. I, I would go clean up trash and shit and I would wow. post about that. Yeah. And that, that was real passionate. About that must that. be an incredible catharsis, you know? Yeah. It was amazing. It was made the shit. Are you familiar with Salem, New Hampshire? Yeah, of course. Is that where you're from? Um, I'm originally from Derry, but um, I I lived in Salem for like the past like ten years. Oh, I go to LL Bean all the time there. So, oh shit, in the in Tuscan Village. Yeah. No shit, but yeah, no. I, my I was well. I, I was my name was known in Salem for cleaning up yeah. trash. I would always be cleaning up trash and shit. It was called Citizen oh. Cleanup. Well, and I know you don't need to hear this from me, but to me, it's like. Right away, I can already tell, you know, your enthusiasm is very original. So if this is like what you want to do in your lifetime, um, it, 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 I really, think it, it is. It's a very warm personality. And I think like this is what oh, you man, want I appreciate in, to you, be educated. Oh, of course. I appreciate course. you. <laughs> yeah. Salem, man. That's so that's funny. Yeah, yeah Dairy's cool too. Dairy gets a Dairy's really new. Oh, I just love New Hampshire. You're at, like, I, I'm one of those people where. I'm from New York City, and when I moved up here, I thought I would hate it, and I'm just like, I can't. Bro, I, love, I it. love it. I love it. I, I mean, I grew up in Derry up until I, I left Derry when I was like 21, and then I moved around, moved around a lot, but then I was in Salem. Now I'm in Mass. What part of Mass? Methuen. Literally, oh, okay. like 15, literally 15 minutes away from where I used to live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mass but, is um, cool though. I like Mass. I like Burlington a lot. Burlington it, Mass it, is dope. It's it, it's it's not it's not it's not bad, but yeah, I like the Berkshires. Um, but I like a lot. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, no. So with all that being said, 
I stopped, ended up stopped doing the, the, the cleaning up because I had an accident at a job. Fucking, I was, I worked, I was working in the kitchen and this dumb bitch was like high on coke or some shit. Well, I know she was. And she comes like bolting around the corner and I'm walking to the back with a uh, chemical degreaser. Oh, uh. <laughs> bro. Pancakes me. This shit goes squirts in my eyes, bro. And huh. now my my eyesight is like fucking. You know, um, you and I share some commonality because I worked in the restaurant. I was a, I was a cook for a while, and uh, I you actually had a very similar my, moment. My job. I cooked for twenty two years. Oh, how do you feel about it? <laughs> you have to be out of it, or oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> hundred. I I've never been happy, same. bro. I've oh, never same. been happy doing this. Like, <laughs> It finally started paying off after six years. I'm like, I get paid to do this shit. It's fucking cool. Oh, makes me happy to hear that. I'm happy you well, found something. But it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you guys reaching out and allowing me, a, a random person, to come talk to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, I appreciate it's like, that. that shit means, that now shit we know each other exists, you know? That's great. I think that's a wonderful thing. Hell yeah. And. Hells yeah, dude. It's all about connections and people who you know, you know what I mean? And <laughs> Gilligan always got love for you. He got love for everybody. I appreciate that. Feelings mutual. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So uh, have you have you had any live performances and yeah. where at? Where 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 have you performed at? Well, um I just played a really great show at Nova Arts and Keen. That was incredible. And then um I've been working with a company that if you're in, if you want, you should get to know them. Uh, New Hampshire Music Collective. Uh, I want to say I've heard. Of, I want to say I heard. I, I've heard yeah, that. they do this really incredible thing where they just they're a talent agency and they're basically helping people get gigs around New Hampshire. And That's John cool. and Brad are really inc- just really incredible people. And uh, so no, I've been working with them a little you, bit. You have to you have to message that the um, that info because. I I, lo- I also go I love to go out and film bands like I've went out and filmed bands before like I, I love going out filming like in an event for like like whoever mm-hmm. you know what I mean for free yeah. and shit I don't I don't charge no money yeah yeah I'll send you some stuff and then we should also talk at some point because I have I I'm playing in Nashua which is relatively close by to you um All right. next month when? yeah when I have a bar June twenty second yo you heard that June twenty second at where <laughs> Cava bar, Cava bar. Bet yeah. what time? I'm still trying to find that out. So we're gonna. I think six oh, o'clock. Shit. I had to guess. It's either six or eight. So it's on bet. my website. Yeah. But <laughs> I'll I'll bump put that down in the description. If anybody is in the area, go show him some support and show him some love. It's probably gonna be an amazing show. If you guys, if you guys heard his little performance earlier, you know it's gonna be a killer show. It's been uh, live music. I really like playing live. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm getting. Uh, you don't, you don't expect- got stage fright? No, no. Ever since I've been on Prozac, no. Ah, uh, shit. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. That's dope, dude. Before, you, yes. you, that's, that, dude, that's dope because I wish I could say that. I'm, mm. I'm, I got mad stage fright. Like, I'm, not, I'm a shy ass person. Like, you wouldn't mm. get it. You wouldn't think of it because of, you know what I mean? My personality. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very, very shy. I don't like to meet new people. I hate talking in front of crowds of people <laughs> yeah well you know i'll tell you this though when i went to um i did this gig in, in portland there was an artist there that played and he was incredibly shy and it actually helped it added to the performance as a part of the performance so yeah yeah that can work too you know you don't want to be too cocky but you also don't want to be too timid it's you, you just gotta be you exactly and that's why i love doing this podcast because it it allows me to talk to people and conversate with random people for the first time, meeting new people. You know, it's like a confidence thing, and I, I, I love it. Yeah, I, love, I got I love some, everybody um, I have on here. I love everybody I've had on here. I'll send you some links, too, of artists that you should get in contact with who I think you guys would get along really well yeah, in terms dude. of just if you're looking for podcast people. Yeah, I'll do dude, that for you. Dude, I'm always, always looking for podcast people. Like, I literally had four recordings this week. Really? And I got two more tomorrow. I got one I got one more tonight and then I got two tomorrow. How long have you been so, doing the podcast for itself? Like what happened? How long has the podcast been going on for now? Like how many episodes are there? 
Ah, uh, that hold on. I have. I literally have a my my door is like a complete whiteboard. Like a, good for you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna be my you're gonna be my 14th episode, but I'm all the way up oh. to 20. But oh, that's I have awesome. Yeah. So, but they're yeah. all like set. Like they won't be up for like yeah. like twice a week. Don't ever change that hat, by the way. That is, I, now that I saw the back of that hat, that is a Yo. great, a incredible hat. Yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, I it. it. That, that was your New England touch right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I should have worn my actual Gilligan hat, like Gilligan's Island. Like, I got, the, like, that's where, like, that's where, that's where, like, yo, uh, uh, should I bust it that's out? Really should I bust it out for y'all? Where is it? I would love to see it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. A lot of people might not know what show that is. I know. I've heard of all. I bet. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. That's like BassProShop.com, you know? Bro, you already know. All my <laughs> OGs, my original videos, yo, this hat was it. Like, I've gotten recognized <laughs> wearing this hat in public. Really? That's funny. I was walking around Hampton Beach. It was three years ago. And all I hear is, yo, Gilligan. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the, that's, the, that's the original OG hat. Well, the beach is pretty far from. Well, it's not that far, but still, like that's cool. Oh dude, hell yeah! I mean, that was like that was the only time it, that ever happened, but whatever. It's just, it's only the start. Facts, facts, fucking. <laughs> oh man, so do you have? You have any upcoming shows going on? You uh, what do you you have yeah. anything you worked on? What- I've been writing songs at the moment that are kind of more poppy, if you will. But um, yeah, I'm booked sure. a lot. I have two gigs this week. I have probably good solid twenty gigs for the whole summer that will be on my website. You can find out about those. And I recorded my first album kind of in this room, very DIY and just very lo-fi. And I think I want to continue doing that because it saves money. And uh, uh, and it's always it's yeah. fun when you do it by yourself. Yeah. And you know what? It, it sounds silly to say this, but when it's not as clean and it's not as When it's chopped polished, and when it's, you, yeah. you, when it's you. Yeah. And if someone likes it, they really like it. Where, like, if it's clean and polished, I feel like it's much more digestible, if you will. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I don't like it, I don't it, like it too clean cut. Like, there has to be, like, a little, you know. Yeah, it depends on the art, obviously. But um, I really like the yeah. Wu-Tang Clan, right? And, like, you oh, listen to that. Wow. To me, it's very, yeah, it's great music. And it's much more um, raw, in my opinion, than, let's say, something like, you know, Later, Doctor, you mentioned Doctor Dre before, and his production's incredible, but his later production's much more polished compared to. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good comparison. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Right, you should definitely fucking, you should definitely check out. I've made a few songs. Uh, they're definitely nothing serious, but you should probably you should go check them out. I mean, you'd have a kick <laughs> checking them out. I would love to. Yeah, send me a uh, link. They're, yeah. they're, they're, um, they're, you'll find them on my YouTube. Gilgamesh okay. on YouTube. Uh, there's a playlist called Gilligan Studios. I mean, I made, I, I, I fucked on it. I did everything myself. Like, yeah. You know, have you heard of Audacity? The the recording. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's... I started off. I started off on using that. Then I worked my way up. But no, nah, yeah. You, I mean, yeah. You, what type of music is it? Is it like hip hop or? Uh. Y- yes. Yeah. It's like like uplifting kind of like yeah. shit like that, but like the I I like talk rap. You know what that is? Um, I want to say yes, but no. If you named an artist, I can maybe relate All to right. it. So you know who Ice Cube is, right? Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, the song "Today Was a Good Day." Okay, I'll have to give it a listen to. Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you listen to that song. That's that's pretty much how I do. I mean, okay, but you, no, you just have to go check it out. I mean, there's a mix up. I mean, you just have to check it out. Yeah, and you know, I'll say that's one thing I wish New Hampshire had was more, um, like opportunities in that genre. There's not really a lot of places that but, are but, like playing local artists like that. True. I mean, but I I I I found out that 
artists from New Hampshire and like artists from Mass, artists from here. Like they're very fucking. Uh, they stand on where they're from and shit. It's like they don't like. It, it's weird. It's it's weird. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like they're prideful, you mean, or like yeah, very, like they're very, like mm-hmm. probably like, don't come over here fucking rubbing your shit, kick still, there, like type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they're very prideful where they where they come from, like and shit like that. You know, it's fucking crazy. Uh, I could see that. <laughs> Depends on the area, well, obviously. I can that, imagine. That's not yeah. mean that. That's not you. Like I guess, like 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 you said earlier, sitting by a campfire, fucking just jamming, bro. Yeah. Fucking right! Oh yeah, that's the vibe, bro. Like people I'm need to get humble. on that level. People need to get on that level because, yo, they don't even know. <laughs> right. I appreciate you. I agree. I think, um, I don't know. I think, especially where I am, at least in New Hampshire, there's a huge local art move- movement. Like there's a local farm movement. And there's a local art movement, and. I've are they like part are, of they, it. are they very supportive of each other? Like you know, one hundred percent. That's what's up. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's that's amazing. What, that's, what, that's what it's about, dude. Yeah, and it just feels the word "clean" comes to mind. It feels really clean, and uh, I don't know. I just really love it. I that's I love awesome. my town. Have you been to Peterborough before? I have not. This is uh, gonna be crazy. Ready? Ready to get your mind blown? Ready? Sure. I'm 33, about to be 34 in October. I have not had my license. I, brain fart. It'll be about 13 years. Okay. I lost it when I was 21. I haven't driven. Like, I got an electric bike, but not like, dude, I I haven't been anywhere within, like, the surrounding towns. Dude. Like, my apologies, but yeah, no. I, <laughs> I, unfortunately, Do you have I, interest in getting I, your I license not, again? I have not. What? Do you have interest in getting your license again? I mean, I did. But it's just this is so this is like a bunch of legal issues. Like I got a uh, lifetime judgment on my license. I got to pay literally. I get no cap. I got to pay like seven grand to get my license back. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, for real. And and, I, and on top of that, it's been so long. And like my eyesight, like right. So make a make a fist and make it peek through it as like as tight as you can. But right. Tr- the, as small as you can see through, that's really what I see. I my I don't have any peripherals, right. like, you know what I mean. Ah, oh. it's I'm I'm losing my eyesight and shit. And yet, you still found a way to live and enjoy a quality life. Yeah, I mean, it it, it definitely took a while. It, yeah, to 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 cope with it because like my brother has the same thing. It's it's a fucking it's a it was genetic disease or some shit. It's like whatever, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, I did like that. That's why I'm having so much fun doing this. Like, but yeah, yeah I mean, because <laughs> whatever, it's all good. I'm happy. I I'm What's happy out? as fuck. I I'm ha- dude, bro. I wish I could I tell turn you. My fucking, I wish I could turn my camera, but I'll say I'll send a picture after this. I yeah, got please. A, I got a a dope ass. Comic old school comic book collection, dude. Oh, if so, I may ask, what's your like rarest comic you got? I got uh, I got a couple Spider Man comics that are pretty rare. I got yeah. like ten comic, ten Spider Man comic books. I mean, I got a Detective Comics. That's pretty. That's pretty old. Oh, uh, like I got action. Where Batman originated from, or huh? Isn't that where Batman originated from? Detective Comics. Yep. Wow. And it's, it, yeah, so the, if you if you can think it's a de, it's the detective comics with the purple on it. Okay, that's Damn. that. One. I know there was action comics and detective comics. Yeah, I got both those. I got a bunch of Thor ones. Um, oh wow! Yeah, I got, I, I, you, I'll show I'll show you the I'll, I'll send you a picture. It's fucking yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking found that shit in an abandoned house. Really? I was going fucking exploring <laughs> and. <laughs> This house was literally getting um demo getting ready to get down like knocked down and shit. And there's mad shit inside, so I was like and I found these freaking comics. I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna rescue you. Good for you. I love shit like that. No, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And I'll say cool. New Hampshire has a lot of that where like we live in an old barn house and oh, uh dude, it's so dope. It's great. You always just find random shit in the basement, and it's like, oh, cool. 
especially like old board games, you'll find like a clue that's from like the 1950s or something like that. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I love when like people try to be like, what do we live in a bond? And I just look at like, well, you kind of. Yeah. Facts, dude. I grew up on a ranch. Yeah. Not, I wouldn't say a ranch. It was considered a ranch, but it was a house. But you know, yeah. I mean? No, I get you. But there's a beauty to the art of preser- preservation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I just, I, yeah, I saw that. I couldn't let it go to waste. I fucking found a bunch of old uh, vinyl records. I got like a bunch of Elton John vinyls. It's yeah. crazy. I apologize. Yeah. My cat is uh, just woke up and he she's meowing. Yeah, cat person too. Fucking. Yeah. That's like. I don't know. I gotta go back and check, but dude. So I think so far everybody has been a cat person. I got a cat too. Oh, I got three. We just got a third one actually. She, oh, uh, she found yeah, us no, at the I'm barn. A, I'm a I'm a one pussy kind of guy. Sure. <laughs> ah, nah, but it's, that's crazy. Three cats. Damn. Yeah, love it. <laughs> you're a funny Damn, guy. Bro. I appreciate it. Nah, nah, you're good. You're good. But, um, <laughs> but shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have you have anything. You, you haven't mentioned you got anything you want to mention this is a platform for you to literally just you know yeah 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 no i appreciate that i guess just whatever the 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 floor is yours my man (laughs) well i'm just just here listening and and and, and, you know (laughs) if you if anyone's interested in what they in my music it's www.templemountainmusic.com it links to everything possible all my shows are up there. Uh, I'm just trying to get as many gigs as possible. So book me, please. That's yes. also I, I just want the next gig. Yeah. You just want the next gig. You just, just want the next gig. gig. I just want to play. I want to play every night. So just give me another gig. How how so? How long are you? How, how long are your normal gigs? How long is your normal session or whatever? Um, that's a good question. So it just depends. If I'm playing like a show that's specifically about my songwriting, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. If I'm playing a show that is trying to entertain a bar, that can be anywhere from two to three hours. Got you, got you. Have you ever yeah. heard? Since you you said you're familiar with Salem, have you have you ever been to Sadie's? No, not yet. Do they do okay. live music there? My guy, yeah. Okay. I I met this. I know this one girl. Her name is Chrissy Cunningham. She goes by Chrissy Boom Boom. Fucking, she's an artist. She's she's in a couple bands. I've filmed her but yeah she performs at sadie's a lot but you should definitely go check oh. it out it's a it's an amazing bar they got pulled dude it's a fucking vibe and i oh, think okay i'll send uh i'll also i'll see if i can get booked there yeah that'd be cool yeah, they're they're always fucking they're always booking people they always got fucking karaoke night fucking sadie's nice. is fucking yeah i would definitely yeah, check i haven't them. like that area and portsmouth yet i haven't really checked out the music vibe so I'm, I'm interested. I don't know the I points. I don't know points. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. I don't even know. And I don't even know if I know anybody from Portsmouth with that does music. Oh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I know anyone either, actually. I know a lot of people from this area, and I know a lot of people up north has a huge music scene. Yeah, up north is crazy. Up mm-hmm. north is crazy. Have you ever been well, If you haven't been to the White Mountains yet, everyone <laughs> just... Go. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah. Have you heard of the grind mode ciphers and shit that they did like a few years ago? No. You don't know? Have you ever heard of grind mode cipher? No. What is that? There's this guy. He goes by the name of Lingo. And okay. he goes around to different cities and shit and get in, they get like artists from different area, like areas and shit. And they all jump on one one song and shit and they all rap and shit and it's like just to like help promote like a independent art project like collabs and shit yeah you should go check it out dude it's fucking it's fire and shit they did a bunch for new hampshire like quite a few years ago but that's cool my friend jonathan brought and shout out to jonathan he's actually doing something similar except of country music um but not like modern day country music more like old school outlaw country and it's basically going to be like a cover collaboration album it's going to be di- it's going to be oh, really cool that's that sounds- yeah, maybe a part of it you're going to be part of that yeah i'm going to do a um bro, Mel Travis you- song. Yeah. bro before you know it you got to be turning to Avril- adam no adam levine sorry adam levine or oh. Adam, whatever his name is, from Maroon Five. Maroon Five, I like. Uh, I like that. I guy, love songs like, about Jane. That's a great record. Listen, 
if it happens, be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. Yeah. I definitely wish. I promise I, if, if it did happen, I'll promise to give you a shout out. How about that? Uh, listen, I'm sorry to inform you, but your man's is already going to be there. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for the shout out then. You know, I'm <laughs> Yo, I got you, dog. You know, for real. Appreciate that. For, no, for, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad humble. Like, I, I'm not really. I'm not, expect, I'm, not, I'm not expecting shit out of this, but like. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's it's more about you already. I hope you recognize that you're already successful by doing it. Oh my god, I've I've done I've done I've accomplished a lot with with this. Not just like doing the podcast and shit. Like I've gotten good at editing, so I've ed- I've edited for a couple of big YouTubers and shit. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I I have a fucking insane resume when it comes to social media and shit. Um, but I just totally brain farted. It's okay. My, well, I had another cat walk in, so I was just like, please don't knock over my camera. But what I will say to that is um, I think that's the way to do it in this industry is literally be versatile, be say yes to everything. And we're at a time in life now where it almost feels like it's quantity over quality. Like you should have good quality content, but you should have a like tremendous amount of content. Yeah. Like, that, like when, in the beginning... I used to post so much fucking mm. video. Like, it was insane. Like, I would never give that a video an opportunity to gain views or anything because I'd be, like, putting so many fucking videos out because I was right, right. so obsessed with editing. And then I was like, ah, oh, I got a camera. Woo! I'm going to Tuscan Village. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, That's really funny. But, uh, yeah, no, like, going back, like, looking at, all my videos sometimes i just go and i just scroll yeah so like the beginning i'm just like what i've created is fucking mind-blowing but yeah you know, it's all right it it is also weird how today the with the internet like it, we basically created this giant photo album that like our parents used to have and i know i'm so you obsessed can, with capturing moments and shit yeah we could find ourselves though, like I could see what I was like and what my life was like in great detail from like 2009, and I really don't want to do that, but you can oh. if you wanted to. Fact, fact. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I love that shit. Like, I, mm. yo, I, I got shit from when I was a kid. Like, I, yo, <laughs> I was sitting in Nostalgiaville all day. I like nostalgia. When I, I think love them, but I when I experience them. it, it never feels as good. You're not doing it right. Yeah, <laughs> you got you got to be one with your fucking. You got to be one with yourself, bro. Yeah. What do you I'm recommend? Just, I'm, you got to do ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, man. Don't no, do that. All good. Don't do it's that. All good. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I won't. Uh, I won't talk about my uh, my history with drugs, but. Uh, Oh, I'll say that sure sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, I've never done it, but I've done. It. No. Do you know what it is? Of course, I actually just listened to. Um, I, and you should know, like, as a part of my degree is, I'm probably going to get my late act. So, licensed addiction drug and alcohol counselor is a. Uh, you know, you have to know this stuff. But uh, I've listened to Tom Segura talk about his experience mm-hmm. with it, and it sounds amazing. <laughs> Bro. Yes, yeah. You should you should listen to Joey Diaz. <laughs> Oh, he's he is so funny. He's a he's a killer, yeah. killer, killer. But um, comedy is one of the forms of art that I'm real. I don't like every comedian, but I'm really finding we're in a really good age for comedy right now, in my opinion. I don't know too many new co- co- like comedians other than Matt Reif, but he's fucking overrated. He's he's uh he's very attractive, but uh, I haven't really heard his he's his a comedy too. Stallion. Yeah. But um, but John Mulaney get you so far. amazing. But do you remember he was on Wild and Out before he became big? Yeah, yo, Wild and Out does not get the appreciation that it deserves. For real, I that shit love... on like what thirty seasons? Oh my god! And it was like, I love. Have you ever watched Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, it to me it was like uh, take Whose Line Is It Anyway and put it in a club scenario, and it was brilliant. I think it was great. Oh, while I was, I watched that shit. I watched reruns of that shit all day. Same. Pete Davidson was on the show too. I'm pretty sure. 
a lot of people do. A lot of people were on that show. Fucking cut that game up. Like, <laughs> do uh, now it's like I think DC Young Fly is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, that's the only ones popping in my head. Other than like yeah. that plastic looking girl with the red head. Nick Cannon also like he was from all that. You know, you gotta give him credit. No, for, he and still also drumline, looks like he's young. I know. Like, you ever seen Drumline? Dude, that's the dopest fucking movie ever. It's such a good movie. <laughs> so Bro. good. Yo, my parents hated me when that movie came out. Uh, where you just, like, got really heavy into rhythm? Oh. I got some sticks, and I'm with headphones in in the room. Yeah. Like, oh, bro. I, <laughs> but, yeah, no, dude, that's... Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, there's a lot of good movies out there nowadays. And, yeah, I wouldn't say that. This was a good year. Have you seen Oppenheimer yet? No, but I've heard it was fucking really, really good. Uh, I'm a big Batman. Robert Downey Jr. fan. Oh, good. Yeah, he's amazing. What, well, yeah. what an inspiring guy. Yeah, um, I, I really want I really want to see Oppenheimer. Yeah, that one blew my mind. I saw that at a local theater, too, which is like only holds like 50 seats. It was so adorable, but it was amazing. Yeah, is that so? Is it still in theaters? Alexa, <laughs> shut up. Sorry, my Alexa. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> I swear, Ethan Page. If you if you see this, I told him my so there's something going on with my Alexa. I swear they're listening because at 7:20 p.m. every day, it decides to give me updates on football. Oh, weird. I don't watch football. I don't give a fuck about football. I don't know why she keeps doing it. Huh. At seven twenty every day, and it's seven twenty. Well, is it battery powered or is it? Uh... it uh, it's plugged into the wall. Yeah. Do you, is yeah, it? Do you like? Do you find it like helpful other than that, or is it like just worth on? I mean, the only thing it's really helpful for is fucking an alarm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like other than that, I, don't, I mean, the bitch is gonna hear me anyway. She's she's listening, right. so I'm not gonna need nothing other than just wake me up. Yeah, the listening thing's weird. I it like the advertisements I get on Facebook now. Whenever I'm having conversations with people, Yo. it's quite horrifying. It's horrifying. Yeah, bro. Ever since I since I started when I started gaining followers, and then once I started gaining like more and more, like. Bro, the amount of spam messages, oh my god. Oh yeah. No, yeah. that happened with me too. I My Facebook page for Temple Mountain, I get like a message once a day saying, you're in violation of like copyright infringement, oh, so we're going to terminate like, I get like fucking 10 of those a day. I don't get it. And like, they want me to s upload my ID. I'm like, don't do it. Them. Don't do it. It's all, oh, of course, of course. It's, it's all scam and shit. Of course, of course. But it, yeah. Dude, oh. I get one. I, the ones I love, the, my favorite ones, are the ones where it says you have twenty four hours, or and or your your channel is scheduled to be deleted in twenty four hours. It's like okay, cool. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> or yeah. nowadays, now now that I have a business profile, I'll get like messages saying like, "Hey, I can get you an additional ten thousand followers," and it's just like, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> doesn't work that way and then, i don't know i don't want i don't want to fake i want this to happen really organically and naturally Facts. i don't need yeah i don't need your help you know <laughs> like stuff yeah. like this this is what i love i rather i rather just like i almost rather get to know one fan at a time get to know one person at a time and build a relationship that way and i don't care if it takes ten thousand hours like to me that's more I don't know, cathartic if you will Dude, hell yeah, hell yeah, dude! Yeah. I, dude, I agree. Fucking, I think I think having a small circle in general is I would prefer, you know. Yeah. But I appreciate you saying that. That was dope. Yo, that's your <laughs> kitty. Hi. Yeah. She, Yo, she just left. Yeah, Her name's Patty. That's crazy. My cat looks exactly like yours. <laughs> Same pattern. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. Crazy. Where's my cat? Oh, I think she's out there. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That scared me a little bit. I apologize. <laughs> no, no, you good? You good? Oh shit. Well, uh, yeah, man. Uh, 
This has been a fucking awesome conversation. I'm gonna have to get you back on. I'm gonna have to come oh. out. And see, I'm gonna have to come out and see you live and uh, and do and and record you and shit. Yeah, just let me know. I'm I always happy to do all and everything. I got my press pass, my camera press pass, you know, I'll VIP. Dude, I will. Um, I would love to come do this again too. Just uh, you're a good, you're a good person to talk to. And now, uh, yeah, man, now I'm glad to know that you're in the zeitgeist. You know what I mean? Hell, dude. As soon as I heard, <laughs> heard, heard your first song, I was like, "Yo, <laughs> uh-huh. thank you." That's very kind. No, because like, I'm a big fan of like, I'm a big fan of like James Bond and all those people like you name shit like. It's just like it's, it's mad respect seeing someone doing their thing, dude. Mad respect. Cause... Thank you. Likewise, the feelings mutual. I mean, you're you, what you're doing as well in terms of content creator. I could see just by the background alone, you put a lot of thought into this. And Hold on, I wish you see it. I got a thing that says it's Gilly time. I got a fucking a sign that blinks. Fucking turn your shit off, fucking I don't know on on Let's see who's. Oh, I love that. Oh, ready. Yeah, fucking these vibes. Those are interesting color choices too. I like that. Well, I mean, unfortunately, so original, originally, I, I you could plug it in. I would plug it into the wall, and it came with a remote where I can, I can have it like a stay a solid color, or I can change it up. Right? I yeah, yeah, the yeah. So now I got the batteries, and you go and turn it on one way. <laughs> fucking sucks. So oh. that's what I got to deal with. That's why I never really use it. Yeah, oh. uh, I appreciate you, but no, I do. It's, it's been so like, like building this fucking shit. Like, no lie, my desk literally was literally fell apart. Like my my tower almost just fucking just tumbled. It just like yeah. the, the screws because the screws are just. Bro. It but takes I, time. I, Life takes time. Yeah, it does. But this is Gilligan, and this is what you get when you see me in person. Whether you see me on. On, in a video or in person, this, I'm the same person. I love it. Oh, uh, I believe it. Oh, and I bet we'll meet in person eventually. Oh yeah, we definitely, we definitely will because yeah. you oh, know okay. I'm definitely gonna be keeping my own eye on you. I'm actually, I haven't, I'm, I have been told, I've made a post about this, but later on I'm gonna be going live, and I'm gonna be listening to a bunch of your songs along with a couple other people on a live stream so you know stay tuned for that if you want to check it oh, out thanks man yeah oh hell yeah i'm gonna vibe out bro i'm gonna get my gilly on yeah yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah all right mr temple Mallon. this has been an awesome episode anything any last words you want to tell the viewers uh, just support both gilligan and i because we're both uh both have just dreams and desires you know but uh this has been lovely and i really enjoyed it yes sir passion is supporting everybody everybody go follow him go show him some love listen to his music on spotify you know you guys will definitely not be disappointed i'm telling you let if let your daughter hear it let your girlfriend hear it because i'm telling you they're gonna thank you uh yeah this has been awesome like comment share do all that shit and i'm getting in that mountain that temple mountain and we out. <laughs>